Hi, I'm Mo, and I'm trapped in Fallout. Today, I'm going to show you how to get your hands on the Ant's Sting. The Ant's Sting is a weapon that is given to you as a reward after completing the Superhuman Gambit mission that is found in Canterbury Commons. Canterbury Commons is directly north of Vault 108. Once you make it to Canterbury Commons, enter the city and you will be subjected to a unique and interesting dialogue between the Mechanist and the Antagonizer to make believe superhumans in the wasteland. The moment their fight is over, they will both run away and you will be approached by an NPC. You will be approached by Uncle Ro. When given the option, select what was all that about, who were those people. The um, Mechanist and the Ant Agonizer. When given the option to, select I might be able to help. Lastly, close the dialog box by either selecting the first speech option or I'll do it. And finally, this should now start the Superhuman Gambit quest. Go ahead and say I have to go now. We want to get our hands on the ant's sting. And to do that, we will need to kill the mechanist and take his armor over to the ant agonizer. To do this, we're going to head to the Robot Repair Center. The Robot Repair Center is directly south of Canterbury Commons. Effectively, if you follow this path, you will end up at the Robot Repair Center. Once you have made your way into the Robot Repair Center, go north and as you go north, on your left, you will see a set of double doors, which is currently locked with a hard lock. If you are able to pick a hard lock, you can go ahead and pick this lock, and this will take you straight to the mechanist. If not, we will take the long way around. Go straight through these double doors, and you will come to this really big area. What you will need to do is go up these stairs, now be warned, this area is filled with Mr. Gutsies, Sentry Boss and Torrents. So as you follow this path, you will see this door, open this door and then go immediately straight and on your left you will see another door. As you open this door, again there will be more Torrents and more Sentry Boss here. Follow this path and you will see another door. Open this door, go forward, and then you will be able to enter the Mechanist Forge. Once inside, if you turn left, you will see a portion of the wall that looks a bit out of place. This is actually a hidden door. If you go ahead and activate this coffee, then the hidden door will move out of sight. If you then go ahead and activate this door by clicking on these cogs over here, then this will open a series of doors and behind this door will be the mechanist. So at this point we are here to kill the mechanist because we want his armor. So go ahead and get ready. And the moment we see him, we are going to kill him. So you should be on your left the moment you enter. Go ahead and loot the mechanist's body. And you want to take his costume and his helmet. With the armor now taken, if you open this door here and follow the path, this will eventually lead you out those initial double doors that were locked behind the hard lock. Now go out and make a right and exit the building. We will now need to go and give the mechanist armor to the ant agonizer. To do this, we will go back to Canterbury Commons the easiest way is to follow this path and to jump down, making sure to hug the ledge as you jump down as to make sure you don't 
end up breaking a limb and as you follow this path eventually you will see the entrance to the ant agonizer's layer now before we do instead of going through this entrance there's actually a secret entrance at the top of this hill And this is the locked entrance. If you are able to pick an average lock, then go ahead and enter through this. We are going to enter through the main entrance instead. But if you do take the back entrance at the top of the hill, then this will directly lead you to the ant agonizer. So we are going to go in through the front entrance. Once you're inside, go straight. And this really is just one really long path. So as you head straight, open this door, make your way to the left, and you will see a set of stairs. I'm going to go down this set of stairs, and then at the end of the room, you will see another door. Go ahead and open it, and again, follow the corridor all the way down. Now, on this path, you will encounter a lot of ants. So again, it is advised that you come at a relatively high level when you do this. Once you reach this area, press this button here and this will open the door. Again, follow through and follow the corridor. You will then eventually come to this underwater sewerway tunnel. Just cross this and go straight ahead into the hole in the wall. And again, there really aren't that many forks, it's just one really long path. We're going to follow this path all the way to the ant agonizer's lair. So again, there aren't any forks. It is literally just one really long path. So if you are able to enter via the locked entrance that I showed at the top of the hill, it is better if you go that way instead. Once you're inside the ant agonizer's lair, Again, follow the path and you will eventually see her sitting on top of what looks like to be a throne of some sort. Go ahead and talk to her. At last, you've pried the shell off that meaty little mechanist. Give it to me. When given the option to, go ahead and select here. You can have it. Just move on and leave Canterbury alone. Excellent. It shall make a fine memento of a nemesis bastard. For your loyal assistance, take this blade. I shall take my leave of this town. And with that, you should now have the ant's sting. The ant's sting is a unique knife that is given to you by the ant agonizer after siding with her during the Super Gambit mission. It has a base damage of 4 and the damage is doubled when used in vats. It has a DPS of 12 and a critical multiplier of 1. The unique thing about this knife is that it actually deals poison damage per hit. Every time you strike an enemy with this knife, it does 4 additional damage over 10 seconds. This means the poison damage can stack if you hit the target multiple times, causing your DPS to reach all the way up to about 90. From full condition, this knife will take about 1250 hits before it breaks. And this was a guide on how to get your hands on the ant's stink.